Dr. Hotez, let me cut to the chase. Every article says don't panic. We are. How do we can't contain our ancient worry about these viruses? Well, it is a scary disease. It has a high lethality. We all know that. But we have to remember the situation that we have uh, in the United States is so different uh, from what we're seeing in Liberia and Guinea and Sierra Leone. This is a virus that is actually not very easily transmissible. We have a healthcare infrastructure in the United States, and the risk of an epidemic occurring like we're seeing in West Africa is practically zero. What would you like from the government? I think of your work in biochemistry, molecular biology, Wild Cornell, Mass General Hospital. You've seen every institution. What is your wish list? from the government? Well, I think right now uh, what we have to put a lot of emphasis on in order to contain the epidemic in West Africa is to get uh, new drugs, new vaccines uh, out there as quickly as, as we can. Uh, you know, this, Ebola is a neglected tropical disease. We make vaccines for neglected tropical diseases. Our technology, our ability to make these products has outpaced our social and political institutions to actually get them developed and get out there. So we really have to accelerate their development as quickly well, as possible. You know, I think of the, the history of pen penicillin and the ramp up that we saw in antibiotics, how close are we to a broad distribution of therapy for Western Africa? So that's a great question, uh, and that's what the question everybody wants to uh, really know. Uh, what we've got is a very promising drug that's being produced by uh, the chemical subsidiary of Fujifilm in Japan. It's called Feva Paravir. We already know it's safe in human trials that were conducted for another virus, influenza. Uh, it has great activity against uh, Ebola and animals. I think the company says it has 20,000 doses ready to ship out. I think that's one we have to move on very quickly. We also have two promising, uh, two or three promising vaccines. Uh, the one I think first out of the gate is one by GlaxoSmithKline and, and the NIH. And I think we've got to move on that one as well. Dr. Hotez, uh, again, speaking as a, uh, a doctor, can you help us uh, uh, understand what makes the protein of Ebola so difficult to block? Well, it's actually uh, not that difficult uh, a target uh, in the laboratory, and that's why I think we have a lot of new uh, promising products. The problem is there's no uh, commercial market for these uh, uh, diseases, like neglected tropical diseases, because and so the major pharmaceutical companies have not had the incentive to actually develop them. So the technology is there. We just have to uh, put the funding in and, uh, and now introduce these products into uh, Liberia and Gu Guinea and Sierra Leone. And that's not easy because it's a very chaotic situation right now. And that's why I'm so excited to know that President Obama sent in 3,000 troops to create some semblance of a health care infrastructure. It makes it possible right. not to introduce these new products. The heart of the matter is, is these are societies that don't have the infrastructure to begin to contain the virus. How close are we to an epidemic? Well, uh, we're, we're in an epidemic situation already in uh, West Africa. Remember, these, are, these three countries that are affected, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea, have only recently emerged out of really horrific war, horrific uh, civil uh, conflict with terrible atro atrocities. No. And the first thing that suffers is healthcare infrastructure. You know, when we talk about that these are neglected tropical diseases, the tropical part's a misnomer. These are diseases of poverty and conflict. You show me poverty right. and conflict or a post-conflict situation, I'll show you these diseases. Peter Hotez, thank you so much. Honored to have you with us today. He is at Baylor University in their National School of Tropical Medicine.